Hello my chickens, welcome to my channel. What is this? I don't know why I always talk with my arms. Uh, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my favorite products pretty much of the year. So I haven't done like a favorites video in so long. I feel like they're so outdated and so old, but there's so many products in here that I really just want to share with you guys. And I feel like these videos are necessary for when you don't actually know what to get, you don't know what's good, and you can just watch it all in one video, and if you trust my opinion, then you would know that these would be amazing. Well, at least they are for me, because I'm literally obsessed with everything in here, and I haven't stopped using any of it. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So we have some jewelry, body care, tan, and a lot of makeup. Firstly, I just want to start with the... Why can't I speak today? With the jewelry. So these earrings right here, I have been so obsessed with. They're literally just little baby hoops. I am now officially over really big hoops. And I'm sure you guys are shocked if you watch all of my old like makeup videos. I literally had them on in every single one, but I just feel like they look really tacky on me personally now. Um, but you know what? I wore it in my last video, so what am I saying? Um, I just do prefer the smaller hoops now. And Colette literally have the cheapest, has the cheapest jewelry. And it lasts so long for me. So I'm very obsessed with these. They're literally like $6 or something. Um, I've been through so many. That's where all my other like really big gold hoops are from. And I've always loved the quality of them just because they're like affordable. If I lose them, I can just go get some more. And then the last piece of jewelry that I've been so in love with is this ring right here. So this one is from Armand's Jewelry. This is a white gold ring and it is massive. It has a massive rock on it. It is so incredible. Honestly, this is what I want my engagement ring to look like. So whoever has to, um, you know, whoever has the honors of doing that, good luck beating this because I actually don't think it's possible. And it has my initials under the bottom right here. And honestly, I usually never really wear rings, but I was like, I really just want to get a nice ring that really stands out, but still really girly and dainty, but like high. You can't miss it. You know what I mean? Okay, so next we have some Bondi Sands products. Um, they have sponsored this video. So thank you so much to Bondi Sands for doing that. Literally one of my favorite brands in the whole entire world. I've been working with them for so many years now. And they're my all-time favorite tan, all-time favorite company. So they just recently came out with a body range. So we have hand wash, body wash, and then we have the coconut and sea salt scrub and also the body moisturizer. This one is hands down my favorite product of the whole collection because it absorbs right into the skin as soon as you put it on. And I literally cannot stand when you moisturize and your body's all sticky. I just, I don't know, I can, I can bear that with tan for like an hour until it gets dry. But with moisturizer, I've always just been so picky. And if it doesn't absorb in, then I really just have to wash it off. Like literally as soon as I put it on, I just jump in the shower. And I'm like, I can't deal with this. <laughs> Very dramatic, I know. But um, with the new body range from Bondi Sands, they've actually had fake tan in mind the whole time when they were creating this. So everything has its own little purpose, every single product. So the body moisturizer is enriched with vitamin E and jojoba. I literally say in every single video, jojoba. Now I understand because I read the comments and I was like, oh, I know. I pronounce things wrong a lot of the time. So yeah, jojoba, thank you. So this one hydrates the skin really well. And obviously you wanna keep your skin really nice and hydrated when you do have a tan on. Otherwise, you may notice that your skin gets a little bit cracked. Well, at least mine does, especially in Melbourne when it is um, cold. So it's really important to moisturize every single day to prolong your tan and make sure it can stay as rich and nice and dark as it possibly can. So this one honestly is my favorite. I love it so much. And then we have the body scrub right here. So um, also keeping in mind that all of these don't have any like nasty chemicals in it. So everything is vegan and paraben free and SLS free. So yeah, it's always nice knowing that. Um, so with this one, this one is oil free. So this is perfect for prepping the skin for tan. So this is a little bit different than the tan eraser. So this one's going to get the old tan off, but this one's going to prep the skin. So it's going to get all the dead skin off. And because it is oil free, it's not going to leave like an oily residue. So you can pretty much go and tan straight after you do use this, like an hour or so once your pores are all closed. And the first time that I use this, I've actually never, ever seen my tan look so just like even, and my skin was so soft. Honestly, it's never been so soft before and it smells incredible as well. So if you do use other scrubs before you tan, they, as I said, it does leave like an oily residue with those ones. So the tan isn't actually gonna like grab onto the skin properly. So that's why I love that this is oil free. And then we have the body wash and the hand wash. So these ones are pH balancing, which is amazing. And they also have the coconut scent as well. So 
again, they don't strip the tan or anything. And obviously when you do wash your hands a lot, it leaves that um, like tan mark around here. So that's why they did come out with this one, which I love. Again, smells absolutely divine. And same thing kind of goes with the body wash as well. It's not going to strip away the tan and it's just like tan friendly. So absolutely adore this one. Actually, it's lasted quite a bit too. I've used it quite a lot. So I will leave those links down below if you guys are interested and all of the details on where you can purchase them. But let's go ahead and move on to some makeup. Um, okay, so the first thing that I've been so obsessed with are these lashes. And these are the ones, these are the ones that I'm wearing right now. So these are called Callisto Beauty. I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure. I actually haven't heard of these before. Well, I haven't seen them online or anything, but I just got them sent to my PO box and I just need to give them some love because they look insane so the band is like really really thin so if you do have any troubles applying lashes these ones are super easy because they're so light and they're super comfortable oh my god i thought i had lipstick on my teeth i was like no i don't have to do that all again do i yeah but these are just so comfortable on the eyes it honestly doesn't feel like i'm wearing anything at all this is what they look like Oh, they're like perfect for every day. Well, at least this style is. The ones that I'm wearing now are in the style Autumn. And then I have the style Cashel. These ones are a little bit longer, but oh my goodness. They are just amazing. Oh, okay. My absolute favorite of the month is a new foundation. And oh my God, I'm so happy that I've found a new favorite foundation, especially something that can cover up my acne and all the redness and stuff. Um... I literally have no words. This is the Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. Actually, I do have a lot of words because I'm about to tell you why I love it. Um, so I have the shade 3.55, which is an amazing neutral color. It's not yellow at all. Well, compared to what I usually do. And then we have 3.70 when my tan is a bit darker. I just mix the two together. I have wore it to gym before. I know that's bad, but um, you girls didn't have time to take the makeup off. So I just wore it to gym and I was like, whatever. Um, and it literally held up so well. I'm not saying it's great for gym. I'm just saying like maybe if you have oily skin or if you sweat a lot or like whatever, it does hold up really, really well. I personally have dry skin and it looks perfect on my skin. It's not a dewy finish at all. I'd say it's more of like a, more of like a satin matte type of finish, but not too matte where it is like too dry for my skin. It's perfect. The next thing that we have is this Tarte Fake Awake eyeliner this is literally just a like cream white eyeliner for the waterline i have tried so many different ones and i honestly do have a lot of other ones but i don't know i just feel like this is the color is better because it's not white it's not like a stark white it's like a nice cream it just brightens the waterline up and yeah as i said i have so many and they just don't stick to my waterline even if my waterline is like wet this one literally sticks to it straight away and it stays on all day it looks so good this is hands down the best white cream eyeliner ever. Okay, so the next thing that we have is a lip combo that I've been in love with. For me, it's really hard to find a nice nude lip combo because I'm really, really picky. So this is what I have on my lips right now. Love, love, love it. Um, so for the past probably six months, I've literally only been using MAC Strip Down Liner in like my everyday or when I do wear makeup kind of uh, routine. So <clears throat> this is the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. I do have the shade Spice as well. But it's literally like half the size, but I do actually prefer this one because it's a little bit more nude. The other one's spice is a little bit more like orange, like spicy, you know what I mean? So this one is incredible for just like overlying your lips, making making them look a little bit bigger, giving them some structure, and then going in with this lipstick over the top. This is the Estee Lauder lipstick in the shade Naked City. <sighs> this is amazing. I just put it on. And like, I literally, I did it when it was like out like this much and I was like ripping it all over my lips, ripping, what? And the poor little thing snapped in half. So when I apply it now, I have to do that, which is probably what you should do anyway. Must've just been a little bit warm sitting in this room, but this is the perfect nude. I absolutely love it. It's nice and hydrating on the lips. I really haven't had that many problems with it going on my teeth, even though I'm so paranoid about any lipstick, but I just feel like when you have a lipstick on, it looks less dry and like crackly than if you have a liquid lipstick. The next thing that we have is this P. Louise Eye Base. This one's in the shade at Room 03. This one is a little bit darker than my natural skin tone, but it matches my foundation really well. So this is what I use as an eye base. I do actually set this one a tiny bit. Um, I don't think a lot of people do set this when they have, um, when they're doing an eyeshadow look because it just like, the eyeshadow sticks to it and it's really, really intense. Makes the eyeshadow intense. So <coughs> I just gagged. I don't know why that happened. 
But yeah, this one covers up all of my veins on my eyes and it just does a really good job. I actually stole this one from Michael. So thanks, Michael. I absolutely love it. The next thing we have, I've actually had for so long. This is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing. So this one's just an eyeliner. I honestly don't even know if they sell it anymore. Like I really hope they do because like what if this runs out? in my lifetime. I've honestly had it for so long, it's not normal and it's still full. This is just the easiest eyeliner to quickly line your lash line just to hide your um, lash band. And also when I do use um, like a wing liner stamp, I like to get the tip of this and make it really sharp because it's so tiny and it makes that wing super sharp. Favorite mascara, I'm so happy I've moved on past my L'Oreal Telescopic because I use that for so many years. And I went through so many of them and I was kind of over just like using the same one every single time. I still love it so much, but this one is just next level. Like I'm glad it is because they literally sent us away on an influencer trip for this mascara. And I was like, oh my God, imagine if it wasn't good, but oh, it is so incredible. It is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. It's not too wet and it's not too dry. So it definitely gets into every single lash, makes your lashes so long. It doesn't make them clumpy, it really separates them. It is just on another level, like it's literally a mascara on steroids, hello. Then we have this MAC bronzer. This one's in the shade Refined Golden. Usually I use my MAC Give Me Sun, but I actually left that at my boyfriend's house. So I've had to find a different one. This is what I have on today. It's just nice to change up my bronzers and I really like the way this looks. It's not too orange. Well, I mean, I love orange bronzers, so you guys probably think it is orange, but yeah, it's just that perfect in between. It has a few little shimmers in it as well, so it adds a nice glow to the face, and that's what I absolutely love. Okay, so the next product we have is a brush cleaner. So if you are always using different colors on the eyes, I definitely recommend getting this. This is the Artiste Brush Cleaner. So this one, I think I said from Priceline, it's pretty affordable. Um, it's easy to get because I know a lot of brush cleaners you do have to get online, but this one is so good. It's just so easy to use. It cleans the brushes straight away. So what I do is just get a paper towel, spray this on the paper towel, swirl my brush in it, and it's clean. So this is incredible. Best brush cleaner I've used. Thanks, Michael, for the recommendation. Love you. Um, okay, the next thing we have is a Morphe eyeshadow palette. So I've had this for so long, and I've only just like kind of dibble-dabbled my, my way into it. This is the 35B palette. As you can see, it is very, very, very colorful. <clears throat> and I just feel like everyone needs a colorful eyeshadow palette in their life and it just has every single color that I literally think I would need for a colorful eyeshadow look. We have a lot of greens, we have yellow, orange, it's tangerine colors, stunning. Um, yeah, there's a lot in here and oh my god, that purple is like everything. I did an eyeshadow look and I used this one, this one and that one and it looks so good. Um, if you guys want to watch it, it is on my Instagram at shiny grimmins. So go give that a little watch, a little love. You know how it is. Last but not least, we have some makeup brushes. Now, I haven't got new makeup brushes for so many years now, so I'm so happy that I got these ones. So these are from Sigma. Um, I thought they fell off the face of the earth, but I got this package in the mail and I was like, hello. I remember when I used to buy so many brushes off Sigma and then when I got this in the PO box, I was like, oh my God, my actual life is complete. So thank you, Sigma. These are the most incredible quality brushes ever. Um, Sigma, Zoeva, and MAC, I think, are the best brushes. Morphe as well. I would say they're the only brushes that I'd ever recommend. So these foundation brushes are so good. This is a Sigma Curve Kabuki, and it's so good because it just gets into all the little crevices because it's got a nice little angle on it. Um, and then we have the Powder Blush Brush, the F10, and then the Large Powder F20. So yeah, I've been using this for bronzer and blush. I just mix it together. And then the Large Powder F20 is so good because you can just like pat it all over. Really, aren't I? It's not like me. Okay, guys, so there we have the finished makeup look. I feel like I really just did talk fast because I'm just so excited about all these products. And I know it's always easier watching someone else share their favorite products with you in just in one video rather than watching them try different products in makeup videos and all that stuff. I feel like it's just a lot easier. So if you do like these videos, make sure you let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.